tonight I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this bird repeller. Okay, so this bird repeller uses a PIR, a PIR sensor, which is a passive infrared, and so it's ultrasonic technology in here. So this is safe for human and animals. It's effective for getting rid of birds and bats, but it's definitely not going to hurt the animals or anybody else. Okay, so it just has a motion detection and it uses sounds and lights to scare them off, basically. That's all that it does. Okay, so it's got two different modes. Well, first of all, let's show you um, it's battery operated. So it takes four AA batteries. Okay, and um, now this is, this is motion detection. So it's not wearing on your batteries. Even though it's turned on, it's not wearing out your batteries unless something is tripping that sensor there. Okay, so um, one thing that you should be warned of um, oh, first of all, it works great for insects. Well, it says insects. I'm not really sure. I can verify that. Um, rats, birds, and bats. Okay, so at nighttime, this would be a good one to use for bats if you happen to have some kind of alcove or area. I know a lot of people in my neighborhood have like pillars and they get bats in there and it's been really problematic. So you could have this quiet flashing light that trips every time a bat flies across there and would scare them off. So they could mount this. There's ways that you can um, mount it easily in that spot in their alcove, and that would work for that area. Um, so you should be warned that if you're wanting to use this during the day for birds, they don't recommend putting this in areas like where kids might be playing or around people because it sounds like gunshots. <laughs> so I don't know um, how very, very realistic it sounds, uh, but... I kind of wanted to put this, I've got a tree outside um, that birds build their nests in and pigeons sit in there all the time and then they poop all over my children's swing set and the spot on the ground and it's just a problem for when my little ones are crawling around there and there's just bird poop everywhere. So we want to deter them from being there without hurting them, so this would be effective, but <laughs> in order for me to use this outside, I would need to warn my neighbors that... It's not an actual gun, it's just a gunshot sound that's going off when birds happen to be tripping this sensor. Okay, so let me talk to you about the two modes. There's day mode and there's night mode, okay? And they do different things for both day and night on both of these. So on the day, on the day mode, during the daytime you'll get the sound, um, you'll get just the sound and then the sound and the light at night, okay? Um, and then on the night mode, you'll get only sound in the day and then only light at night. So the only difference is if you've got it on day mode, you're going to be having that lights come on when this can see that it's nighttime, but you'll also still have that gunshot going on. So I would recommend probably just using this on night mode unless you happen to have it out by like, let's say that you've got orchards or something worth of property and it's it's far back and it doesn't matter if that gunshot is going off all night long. But for night mode, you'll get the sound during the daytime and at nighttime, it's only gonna be the lights that come on. So, um, you know, if there's places that people are walking by frequently that people would set it off, then you do have to look at during the daytime, you get a gunshot sound that's going off and um, yeah, and at nighttime, it's just the light. So let me give you an example here. Okay, so that was an example of the light. Here's just the light going off at night mode. Okay, so anytime it trips the sensor, when it's on night mode, that's just what it's going to do. You're just going to get a flashing light that would scare off bats or whatever is coming in the path of that. Okay, now if it's during the daytime, that's the sound. So, it's pretty, loud. it's pretty loud, and so for the area where I was thinking of putting it to scare off birds, during the daytime, that's not going to be very practical because my kids will just set it off when they are running in the trees. Unless um, you're able to set it like this and it doesn't detect motion underneath, then it would just see things flying above. 
but still that might be scary for people that are around that have the shooting noises. So um, as far as that goes for the day mode there, if you've got property that you can put this where um, it's not going to be a problem for that shooting to be going off, that's fine. You can use this around your house and close to your house at nighttime when this can sense that it is nighttime and I would probably just put it away during the day so the shot's not going off and just put it on night mode so you get just the flashing light for the bats. But if you do have a space that you can put this that it's not going to be disturbing or frightening for people to hear those gunshots during the day, um, it is effective at scaring off those birds who think that they're being shot at and they take off. So anyway, that is how this product works. It's convenient that it's got those two different modes. I do wish that there was um, a separate mode that was lights only, so it didn't do the shooting noise at all. I think that would be helpful um, because I'm thinking of neighbors that might want to use something like this to deter bats at nighttime, but they would not want to leave it in that alcove at the front of their house during the daytime because even on night mode, it shoots during the day, and you don't want people on your porch thinking that they're being shot at, right? So I do wish that they did have a function that during daytime hours, it just didn't go off or perhaps there's a flashing light, but it was just a flashing light only that it could tell at nighttime that the sensor just tripped a flashing light and you didn't always have that gunshot sound. Um, but that is how this works. Uh, it's eco-friendly. You're not hurting anything or anyone with this. Uh, you might be scaring some people with a gun sound. So do be careful where you're putting this that's close to people. Um, I don't think this sound, sounds terribly realistic, but from a distance it may sound like gunshots to people. And um, yeah, with all the gun violence and stuff, we don't want to scare people with guns. So if you've got some countryside where you're out in the open that that sound's not going to bother anybody, then you're definitely good to use that. Otherwise, using this at night, that's definitely not going to disturb anyone except for your bats with the flashing light. Yeah, that is your product. It's simple. It's mountable. You could sit it on top of something like this, and then when the sensor goes off with something flying by, it will trigger. And uh, just takes four AA batteries. So that's pretty simple powering it there. And it really only uses that power, uh, that power when it is the sensor is being tripped. So not constantly. That's it.